Good evening guys and happy Monday to all your sunshiny faces. I don't know what day you got. it is guys honestly because um, my dad's home again from work. He's, I told you guys he's taken off this whole week but again we celebrated Christmas on Saturday and not yesterday on Sunday. So while I keep thinking like oh Christmas was on Sunday I'm like and because we watched like the football games on Saturday too for most of them. We watched a couple yesterday but like just because of that I'm like wait like today should be like Sun Monday or like Tuesday because yesterday was Monday because Saturday was Sunday um like I said I'm kind of thrown off because of that but I mentioned in yesterday's vlog that I shared with you guys what I ended up getting for Christmas so there's a couple things that I got no I think there was one thing that I got that was like digital um and then uh so like I don't physically have it and then there was another thing my dad said is still coming my mom was like oh yeah I also have something for you and then she was like oh and I have something for Matthew too so I don't know but um we ended up getting some a couple gifts actually yesterday because of um you know like I said my dad was like oh yeah I have this and it was like digital like he um I ended up getting the Nintendo like 12 months um of online but my dad bought it online like through Amazon so it was just a code so like he couldn't really give it to me so he ended up just giving it to me yesterday to put in my switch while I was actually using it um and that was because I ended up getting a couple of switch games for Christmas one of the things I've been playing almost all day today and well not all day but part of the day today and yesterday as well i got the luigi's mansion 3 for the switch so i got the donkey kong tro country tropical freeze um which i um was playing this one yesterday and i also got a the gift card i showed you guys that deal we ended up doing at meyer um which was like jack got one of the gift cards and i ended up getting one of them and like i said too i also got the 12 months to free so i can actually get the plus expansion for the um nintendo switch as well with this i'm going to end up doing that um but that was kind of why i asked for both of those two things so i got stuff for my switch which i got my switch i don't think i got it last christmas i think i got it two christmases ago um so matthew and jack have actually had theirs for a very long time i just got mine somewhat recently and then all of this was sort of i think most of it was stocking stuff or close to it um like most of the little things that i got i ended up getting um facial spray i also ended up getting um makeup brush cleaner and also cuticle oil um a new mouse pad um what's it called i have to do these actually the um lottery tickets i also got i showed you guys too when i got this um on sale at meyer over the black friday sale like the little pop toys sort of um and also too my mom got me a couple different stickers these are like sims ones um and then also too because you guys know i love elephants i got a little elephant ornament um and then also too i ended up getting um elephant keychain which is actually really heavy it's very detailed as well um plus i also got bracelets and this is also like a um like a hair wrap um for my hair like when i come out of the shower um these are actually grocery bags um like not reuse yeah like reusable grocery bags but like the mesh kind we do have reusable grocery bags but these ones like i said are like the mesh ones and then this which is actually really cool um me and my mom were looking at this i know it just looks like a bag of fluff but these are actually for birds this is actually real like alpaca for hair um but you stuff it in your um what's it called like you you can do suet feeders and just stuff it in there and then like in the spring too the birds will come and take this and use it for nests and we've seen that and my mom was like oh my gosh that's so cool so when we were looking at it i think this one she actually got it for me um i also got a pen and a wick trimmer for my candle um and then also too i showed you guys when i got most of i think all the rest of this stuff um the igloo tumbler um that i got on sale at meyer also too when i got these like um fuzzy socks um, um, at Menards along with the um, like slippers at Menards and also to the ones I got on clearance at Aldi and also to when I got that on clearance at Meyer for um, like over the the spring or the fall sales sort of stuff that they had for like the summer stuff that was actually on clearance which I thought was really cute so that was most of my stocking stuff then I also showed you guys on Christmas Eve what we ended up opening we normally wind up opening one gift on gift on Christmas Eve and I ended up getting the lavender mint leaf um, candle 
that was also again for the candle wick cutter that my mom got um but then also too my mom came up with these little things again i showed you guys that from christmas eve but like i said that was actually the 23rd for us um amazon gift card for ten dollars and then also to these little peppermint um sippers um in this little thing so that was like i said what we got on like christmas eve um but then too i also got candles guys this is fun this is from um which it does smell like sort of like cinnamon roll sort of this is from Skyrim um but it's a sweet roll candle so it smells like um you know sort of like uh you know again sort of cinnamon roll like but I love this this little um like stuff this is like what it is in um like I said in the inventory in Skyrim it looks like that um and then I also showed you guys too we ended up or maybe I didn't show you guys but I told you guys about it picked out the um Yankee candles and this one I got for 10 bucks there um again I was gifted it for Christmas but I found the deal on it and I told you guys too this one is what smells like to me that um one that I got at Walmart a long time ago like it was probably five plus years ago and uh maybe even longer than that I think it was a year that like winter after I graduated high school so I think it was like 2014 into like 2015 or something like that I have not so again well over five years I guess <laughs> I have not they discontinued it like two or three years after that and I've not been able to find something that smells just like it but this iced berry lemonade oh my gosh it smells so similar to it I've tried other like lemonade sort of scented ones but like the one that I got I can't remember it's called something like maybe pink lemonade from just like the Walmart's like um they're like store brands and like I said I could not find anything that smelled just like it so I don't know if the Walmart one was a dupe of this one or this one is more just like similar to the one that I found years ago at Walmart or what but um I think this is newer because I've never seen it at Yankee Candle before like I said too I've tried over the years to find one that smells like that but if they wind up having these as part of their like clearance sale like their annual semi-annual sale I'm gonna buy up all of them because I love 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 this scent and then too for candy I also got Jerry Deli chocolates and also too I showed you guys when I picked this out from Menards as well um which is like the um orange chocolates pieces which I have not had in years so um and I always see them on sale like for the holidays and I was like I really want to try that again because I was so little when I had it that like I don't really remember like I remember I liked it but I don't really remember <laughs> what it tasted like um and again too the Jerry Deli chocolate which milk the um, milk chocolate caramels are my favorite kind. And also, too, I really like the peppermint bark kind for, like, Christmas. And also, too, I really like the, I don't know if they still have it, but the raspberry dark chocolate ones are also really love. A lot of times, too, I will get, like, a variety kind just because I actually really don't care what kind of Giadelli chocolate it is. I like any kind. I'm not a huge, huge, huge dark chocolate person, but the one with raspberry in it is so amazing. And, again, I'll eat just with regular dark chocolate, but I, these ones are probably my favorite is the caramel kind. And then also, too, I ended up getting a little um, Faro ornament, um, so you guys can see there. But um, I'll show you guys. That was kind of my theme to go with some of my other gifts I ended up getting as well. Um, but it's a little cute little Faro ornament. I know I've mentioned this a couple times, um, I think over my birthday as well, that I um, had put down a bunch of, um, like, different sort of... Um, Egyptian like god and goddesses, hieroglyphs, mythology, like all that kind of stuff, um, different books on my Christmas list. And one of the ones that I was looking at but didn't end up actually putting on my Christmas list was one of the ones my mom ended up getting me for my birthday just because I don't want to put like 20 you know different books but they were all ones that were really highly recommended and so they were all ones that I put on my list and there were still a lot more that like I was like I'm gonna put those on my list too. I just didn't want to like put again an insanely high amount of books on my list um so what I ended up doing was mostly asked for ones that were more centered around the mythology a little bit more of like I almost want to say like school sort of books isn't they're not like reading books they're more almost like encyclopedia kind of um whereas the one my mom got me was more of a like actual like um storybook kind of not storybook but um like it actually had different um stories about um the egyptian um 
like uh female pharaohs these ones were more resource books i think that i put on my list um it's so like i said i got the complete um gods and goddesses of ancient egypt which is again more of an encyclopedia and this one has got really detailed um like photographs in here as well and then this one is the hieroglyphs um and deciphering sort of the um you know it, it also has really detailed pictures in here too but it's about deciphering a lot of the um hieroglyphs and then this one is um ancient mythology and um more about the actual like traditions out egypt um and then too because i'm such a history buff um and i love doing um genealogy um i've hit kind of a dead end on our irish side um and i told my mom that too um so she ended up actually giving me the family tree irish genealogy guide um and then also too because my grandpa is actually he immigrated from scotland so she also ended ended up getting me this book as well so I ended up getting some history books in there like I said I cannot wait to like deep dive into all of the um that the history stuff that I've got this was I was like super super excited about all of this and also some of my fun toys and games and things that will keep me busy for a while um I ended up asking for I always ask for Legos pretty much every year um but I ended up getting the new the Thor Love and Thunder um Legos set along with one of the Harry Potter sets as well and because my mom knows how big lately especially I've been into Harry Potter and finally actually reading the books um she did wind up actually getting me the complete eight um film collection as well um so that's awesome so that I will always have these since I have the books now I will always have the movies as well and then on top of that too guys one of the things that i have always wanted and they finally have like sort of re-released the um playmobile like the victorian sort of dollhouse um ones that i grew up with they have them actually on their website these were the ones that i had when i was little um but they i i didn't have these ones the ones that i actually had was i think the kids bedroom set and i had like one of the other like family ones and i want to say maybe one other one um but this one was always like my dream one to have and I never I hardly had any of the sets from it and I never had the actual like dollhouse either um like the Victorian dollhouse and so um I ended up getting the um like the bedroom set and then um because that this was the one that I had but the thing was we actually got it used like not used but we actually found it at a thrift store with almost all the pieces but we were still missing a couple of them so I didn't end up actually always ever having all of the pieces my one of my friends too well the one that she used to babysit for me and then like um she's kind of like my big sister <laughs> but um then I ended up babysitting for her son recently oh, a couple summers ago um I remember she had that one and so like I was like oh my gosh we almost have like all the pieces but this was always the one that I wanted always never got the gigantic house <laughs> um and like I said these ones were always super super expensive but they discontinued them for a really long time and again these are like the newer set now um then it's not like the vintage set um but they finally have like re-released it so that you can actually get them and again I can actually finish my collection that I always wanted for this one um so I got that and then also to the um like patio set one as well and um because it just came with this you always wind up normally getting you can even ask for it the catalog um so my dad was like I wasn't gonna wrap this for you but here this is <laughs> this came with it and I don't know if you guys know but these actually the ones that I used to have again too when I was little they sell now like collector's items um I still have a couple of mine from again when I was little it's funny I found them cleaning at the attic but these things are actually like the one obviously this year you get it for free whenever you buy anything but the ones that I had back from like early 2000s are worth a lot of money on like you know rare occasions <laughs> they're actually pretty expensive so these are obviously all of the newer ones I don't even know if they actually show that they still have the um like these online you have to go to a special spot on the website to actually find these but this is what I gave my dad and mom the link for so like I said they ended up finding them and again you do wind up getting them pretty much like if you were to have bought them about 20 years ago <laughs> but I am so happy about this guys like you know my um inner child kind of you know with the Legos and the Playmobil and stuff like that um I'm just like super happy that um I got some of those things that'll keep me busy with my time putting together and everything like that and then speaking of things that will take up my time um <laughs> Um, also to Lego themed, um, I ended up getting the, um, 
at the Xbox One, The Incredibles, because me and Jack have been playing through, and we've gone through a lot already of the Lego, um, the different Lego games, like we did the Star Wars ones, and Indiana Jones, and, um, the, um, Lord of the Rings ones, just like all of those. Um, I think we did the, we ended up going through some of the different superhero ones too, like the, uh, Marvel superheroes and the, like, DC, um, superhero ones or Batman, whatever I think it's called. Um, we ended up going through most of those. And so we've been working through a lot of them, but I don't have all of them. Um, so that was my thing. I have all of the ones that I want, um, or that I don't currently have, um, on my Christmas list. So I ended up getting, like I said, the Lego in Incredibles, and then Matthew also ended up buying me, um, he just is not here yet, the Lego Jurassic World, um, and then also too, which is the new one, the Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, which is the big one that just came out, um, and so I think Jack might have it maybe on Game Pass, and he was like kind of testing it out, um, but, uh, I don't have it, and personally too, I like to collect, <laughs> no, this is gonna be weird, I like to collect the boxes, I am still old school, I don't like having the digital copies of everything and you know all that kind of stuff I like having the actual physical things and I like having the boxes because I like to you know again it, I don't have really that much space as of right now but I do like to have them out and like sort of display them so that I can also see what I have and what I want to play instead of being like ah, oh, I don't know maybe I'll just you know go turn my Xbox on and figure out what I have digitally you know or my switch or whatever like I like to actually see my games and be able to look at them you know I have a handful of them on you know digitally but I prefer to have physical copies so um I got those but also too to um you know efficiently use my time my mom got this for me I honestly want to say me and her were at Aldi for something I think she saw this I don't think that she bought it for me while I was there with her but she did wind up actually getting this it is an Aldi super fan because you guys know I love Aldi's um just like different puzzles and um like coloring and like all that kind of stuff and it's all from their brands of stuff which I think is absolutely amazing and like hilarious too because it's all the stuff that is just like super you know all the popular um so like I said that was really awesome I actually think I got that in my stocking and then I also too got the um the sims 4 official game guide because the other thing that I absolutely love is having like the prima game guides I have them for um most of the Bethesda games that I play like the Skyrim um and Fallout games games um so this is really awesome because I have um I think I got one of the ones last year from uh for the sims 3 um I want to say it was the nightlife or something like that the other one that my dad did say was coming was the sims 3 showtime I think he got of the prima game guide um and so I ended up um he said though that that I think won't be here until like I don't remember exactly when he said, but sometime actually late in January. Um, so like I said, I'm getting that as well. It's just not here. And then Jack ended up getting me this. This is the, um, the, it's not the Prima game guide, but it is the official like game guide with the expansion packs for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So I ended up getting this last year, um, the game last year for Christmas. And so Jack was like, oh, you know, like, do you think that you might want one of the game guides for, um, you know, like, the Breath of the Wild, or I think maybe he was asking me about The Sims 4, and I think when he found out my dad had already got me this, that's when he went ahead and, you know, ended up picking this out, but this is awesome, and also, too, guys, this is a hardcover version, like, this, these, normally, for getting, like, I know the Prima game guides, when you get the hardcover version, those ones are expensive, so this is super, super awesome, like I said, I can't wait to get into this more, um, and use this in my Switch, um, because it's weird, I don't have that many games for my Switch, especially games that I actually really like to play, so I'm really excited about um getting this to use it for that as well um so like just recently I've been playing it a lot more so I think that's why Jack was like oh I think she'd really like to get this so that's really awesome um like I said those were definitely things that will help me um you know <laughs> when I have got free time to be able to um use those and play those and things like that then also to a handful of these things I think I shared with you guys when I ended up <laughs> picking them out for myself um but I showed you guys the deal that I ended up getting on the um the fragrances, um, like the Vera Wang one that I got for myself, and then also to the Adidas one that we got for Jack. Um, but I ended up getting that, and then also too, because I, I will floss my teeth, but I have to use floss picks, and I'm not a huge 
fan of like I just like it's frustrating half the time I wind up getting floss like stuck in between my teeth because um like <laughs> it's supposed to do the opposite it's supposed to help get stuff out from your teeth that are stuck but I always feel like I get floss like stuck like and then it's hard for me to like get the floss picks out um so I did wind up asking for um a water pick for Christmas um so that I can use this um when you know for my oral hygiene <laughs> and when I brush my teeth because like I said I do floss but I just am very like I dread having to do it and <laughs> I feel like this would make it a little bit more of an enjoyable process instead using the water pick so um also I ended up getting a couple of records um I got Stevie Wonder and which is like the um number one's like the greatest greatest hits album I guess sort of I ended up getting that along with the Queen's greatest hits as well um and those ones I I asked for a handful of different albums for Christmas um and like different records for my record player specifically with the thought of doing more like like I don't want to say it's like party music but like I have a lot of jazz records and really the only one that I will put on a lot of times that's more of like kind of just um like upbeat and again Again, I don't want to say party music, but like the music that like we'll wind up listening to, like if I wind up bringing my record player out on the back porch while we're doing like breakfast in the morning and stuff like that, or we're just hanging around and everything. Um, a little bit more like upbeat music, I feel like more than jazz. The only album that I have that I wind up listening to a lot of times is the Fleetwood Mac. And so I did put a couple that I thought would be really good, sort of like I said, um, like, I don't want to say family friendly either, but you guys kind of get what I'm saying. Um, more just like entertaining kind of music. And so, um, you know, like those were a couple of the ones that I did put on my list and I ended up getting those. Um, and then also too, I showed you guys when I picked this out from Meyer, the, um, Betta Tank, um, that I ended up getting a deal on. And then also to my very expensive, but I ended up getting very cheap, um, flannel sheet set, which is perfect because it is actually it was almost 20 degrees out today for a high guys that was pretty awesome so um i might not actually need those because we're supposed to get up to 50 this weekend um which is crazy but anyways uh, i showed you guys when i ended up getting that deal and then also to this which might look a little strange it is actually uh, my mom ended up getting this for me um for my neck it's supposed to help like stretch your neck out and it ended up actually helping a lot last night i tried it out um but you kind of just like lay your neck in here um like you lay backwards uh, with your neck facing this way like head up um and then there's like a certain way you're kind of supposed to like lay to actually get it to stretch out so um you guys kind of see on there like um that's how you're supposed to sort of lay down and then it's it helps like stretch your neck um so it like i said it actually did really wind up helping me a lot yesterday when i ended up trying it out and then everybody too tried it out as well um so those those were a handful of the other gifts I ended up getting. Also guys, isn't this really pretty? This is a like throw pillow, um, like cover sort of, of a blue jay. It sort of looks like it's like watercolors. Um, but that's because you guys know, love birds so much. My favorite is our little blue jay that comes to visit. Um, so it's funny on the tag, it actually said it was from um, our friend Jay, who I've nicknamed. Um, but yes, I, I think my mom might have picked this out for me. Um, like I said, I ended up writing the tag from him. So um, I also ended up getting that. And guys, on to clothes, I ended up getting a Chicago Sky Candace Parker jersey. Um, finally, I have um, something rep the Chicago Sky with. So that's really cool. And it's funny too because Candace Parker actually played um, basketball not for our school but um, our school is actually in the same conference back in the day when she was playing as our school. So like people that went to our school at that time would have played actually against her, which is pretty cool. Um, so like I said, ended up getting that. And then also too, I got in Alabama, um, I was joking around. I said, I'm going to look like Nick Saban because a lot of times, um, when he's coaching, he's wearing something like this. So, um, it's honestly the guys, it's so soft and I love the cut too on it as well. Um, so I got that. And then also too, um, my dad was like, Oh, this was when <laughs> him and 
and my mom should have maybe communicated a little bit better um, because my dad ended up actually picking me out two Steeler sweatshirts, guys. Look at this, so nice. Um, this like nice big sort of heavy duty sweatshirt. Um, and then also two, another one underneath here, um, which is, I like this is a little bit, it's still kind of heavy, but it's a little bit more lightweight, but I really like the style of this one as well. And then I think, I'm actually not entirely sure who got which one for who or <laughs> which one. Um, but I also ended up getting this one as well, which is funny. I have a Carolina Panthers one that's like kind of in the same sort of style. Um, like it has the same, like I think it's it's got the same like color obviously it's a different Steelers logo but it's like the same kind of um one but like Panthers so this was really cool as well um so I guess I don't know if my dad picked out one and my mom picked out the other two or what it was but they ended up uh, getting me three of them and that was when my dad was like we should have maybe communicated a little bit better because I ended up getting <laughs> three Steelers sweatshirts which I was like I don't care I Steelers I told you guys are like weirdly enough like the only team that I in my household really like and Jack cannot stand them so I just do it on purpose no now more than anything to rub it in his face um but you know Steelers didn't have a very good season neither did the Bears but I told you guys I have like out of my top like five teams kind of like Steelers are in my top five teams and um it's funny though because nobody else in my household other than maybe my dad a little bit um nobody else is like huge Steelers fan like I am like me Matthew and Jack all absolutely love the Panthers definitely come second right after the um the bears and then i would say probably seattle and then i think the steelers are the next and then broncos are after that me and jack both really like the broncos and nobody else in our house really loves them like that much but i'm like alone on the steelers by myself so um i had a lot of steelers stuff to rep now like i said um annoy jack with how much um steelers apparel i have all right guys last set of clothes here um i think i shared with you guys too when i picked this out this bad boy out for myself this sweater which is like so nice it's like heavy um like knit um i really liked it again i showed you guys when i got it on clean clearance at Meyer um just recently for their winter clearance like I don't know I feel like it's still winter and I don't know why they were clearancing this stuff out I think it was actually fall clearance but like this is winter clothes still like I'm wearing sweaters all the time if I'm if I'm cold I'm wearing sweaters all the time so I don't know why they had like the random you know like I said clearance sale for that but um I picked this out for myself because it was also so cheap um so and but like I said it was nice and like heavy and like I really want to wear this while it's cold out right now um I feel like when it gets up to 50 degrees I might have to wear some of the summer clothes that I'll show you guys that I got in a second but um again I showed you guys when I picked that out and also too I got some Christmas sort of pajama pants um which are like nice heavy um sort of um like not fleece it's like flannel more um so I got those because honestly I only the only kind of like sort of Christmas pajamas I've had I think I've had them since middle school um they're actually the ones I was wearing just the other night <laughs> So, uh, I, like I said, I think I need a little bit of an upgrade. So these were actually really awesome. Um, like I said, Christmas pajama pants. And then again, like I was saying, summer stuff, my mom ended up picking me out, um, this cute little summer set, um, the pink, um, shirt. And then it also has pink shorts as well. Um, so like I said, those are really cute. I really love the shorts, the way the shorts look. Um, and then also too, I ended up getting a couple of sweatshirts as well. Like this one is just sort of a plain um like uh maroon sort of colored sweatshirt um which like I said I'm always cold even when it's like semi like warmer out like even when it's 50 like this to me would be like perfect because it'll be like a nice sort of warm um but like lighter weight um sweatshirt and then the same with this one too which says inhale tacos and exhale negativity um so I got that and then also too I got a couple of t-shirts um this one was peace love and coffee um and then this one also too which I love the style on this um it's cute like sort of like it's got a little flare down at the bottom um but kind of this like lacy material um as well and then also too this one um not a hugger because 
because um, you guys know I love my plants, but I'm I'm not really a huge hugger. So uh, I thought that was cute. Um, the uh, little like succulent cactuses on there. So those were all the clothes. That was pretty much everything I ended up getting for Christmas. Like I said, I think there was like, you know, again, the couple things that didn't end up coming, but I think I kind of for the most part covered everything I ended up getting for Christmas. Um, so like I said, I've been playing on my Switch a lot right, right now and um, just like, you know, I don't know. I didn't have a lot to let like I needed. So I just, I've had the same Christmas list running for probably the last couple years now. And it's again, just stuff that it's like, I kind of want those things like, you know, again, um, like the Lego games and stuff like that. It's just stuff that like, you know, I will wind up using and will play and, you know, um, again the switch games that i got too and stuff like that it's just like stuff that um you know i've kept like again the same sort of list running for the last couple of years just because a lot of the stuff is things that um you know like i said it's just like i don't I don't need any of this stuff, but it's like, oh, if you're going to get me a Christmas gift or you're going to get me a birthday gift or whatever, like those are the things that I just keep on my list. And they're again, the same things that I've had for pretty much, you know, again, not the same things because I get them and then obviously I take them off my Christmas list, but you know, kind of the same theme of stuff. Like I have a lot of, um, like I said, just the different video games and stuff like that too, that I wind up using or liking and like books and things like that too. Um, so again, those were, you know, things that I have had on my Christmas list like Matthew and Jack make a new one every year and it's always super short too it's like oh like 10 to 15 things that like they want and so that's why like some of the stuff I'm like I you know like might want something maybe a little bit more than another thing so I might hint at that a little bit more throughout the year um or you know especially closer to Christmas but as far as like I'd be happy with again anything that's on my list and they're just all things that like I like I said would would want but they're nothing that like I really need whereas like Matthew and Jack a lot of times will put like their only like their like top top things on their list and then it's like okay but like would you you know do you want any of this other stuff and you know things like that I don't know it's just like for me it's confusing like buying Christmas gifts for them but I think I nailed everybody's Christmas gift this year everybody really liked them as you guys saw in two days ago's vlog on Christmas um but like I was saying I just you know my I'm kind of simple I guess I don't have a lot of things like I will put just like Legos and I'll be like any set just you know like again um Lego like the Star Wars ones or the Avengers ones or like the Harry Potter ones I've had those on my Christmas list for the last couple of years and like I don't care which sets I get I just you know any of those ones will really like I will put them together and I will use them um you know and like I was saying too like the same thing with like the Playmobil I had um I was like last year I think it was more uh, I didn't know actually I think that they had the new stuff um actually you could get from Playmobil so I did have a couple um of like you know I put on there like any um like of the vintage Playmobil because that's not what it's called the stuff from when I was growing up 20 years ago it's all called vintage Playmobil now um whereas I would think that the stuff that came out like when Playmobil originally came out like in I think it was the 80s I would consider that vintage Playmobil no the stuff that came out in like early 2000s is considered vintage I don't like that <laughs> it makes me feel old um so like I was saying that um you know I like I had that kind of stuff on my Christmas list it's like I'm not picky about you know exactly like what I want it's just you know like oh if you want to get me this or you want to get me that or whatever um kind of thing and like I said with Matthew and Jack though it just seems like they're like very much like I want this game you know I want that game I want this you know I want these type of shoes or I want you you know this type of you know these they're a little bit more lenient with clothes like they'll just be like oh like just joggers or whatever which is why we we're able to do a lot of that stuff in the Meyer clearance sales that I was showing you guys um you know like t-shirts sweatshirts that kind of thing whatever um like as long as it fits them they'll wear it pretty much but again for me I put like everything I feel like that I want on my Christmas list and then I sort of just let people like go ahead and pick out what you want to get me it's not that big of a deal whereas Matthew and Jack are like very selective they're like only put like five video games on their Christmas list I put like 
hundred <laughs> and then I'm like go ahead and go crazy pick off of the list which you think you want to get me um you know so that's why we that's how we wind up doing our Christmas is that um you know it's still a surprise but you're normally pretty much gonna wind up getting what you get on your Christmas list and maybe I like being more surprised so I will put like again a hundred different things that I want on my Christmas list instead of just like Matthew's 10 Matthew and Jack's 10 to 15 or 20 things that they want and then they're like oh well I know that I'm gonna get that or I know that I'm gonna get this me I'm like I have absolutely no clue what you're getting me for Christmas um but I think my parents do a pretty good job at like keeping everything sort of balanced whereas like again I got books I got you know again some Lego things I got video games I got clothes you know like again I got sort of a variety of different things it wasn't like I got like all of one thing or you know just clothes or you know something like that um like I said I think they do a very good job at keeping everything sort of balanced um but they keep saying to every single year they're like we need to get better with communication like my dad will wind up buying a bunch of stuff and then my mom will too my mom normally doesn't go off of really a lot of like the actual christmas list um but my dad does like pretty much verbatim and unless like of course he's like oh i think you might like that or like this or whatever um so anyways though um like my mom will wind up not doing that so much but sometimes when it comes to like my mom being like oh i know kayla really likes the steelers and i know she likes it bothering jack about you know liking the steelers and then Jack can't stand them so like you know um that kind of stuff like she'll pick up on that and so then again she'll get me some of that stuff and then my dad does too and then they're like oh my goodness you got three of those for Christmas but I'm like I don't care like you know I was kind of the kind of stuff that I had on my Christmas list um so you know like I like sports apparel like I like to wear again like sweatshirts especially when I can rep a team like right now I'm just wearing a plain sweatshirt like if I can rep one of my teams that I like I will go ahead and do that <laughs> so um um, you know, like I was saying, it's kind of similar to just having a regular sweatshirt on. Um, so long as it's one of the teams I like and it's not something like Green Bay, I'm not going to wear that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, I think I'm actually, it's not even dinner time yet. I just decided I would share with you guys this earlier for today. Um, so I can get this stuff put away because in between while I've been sharing with you guys, I've been actually putting all of my stuff away. So um, anyways, I will see you guys though all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys